Ubuntu Unity, previously known as Ubuntu Unity Remix, is, as of the time of recording this video, still the unofficial flavor of Ubuntu. It is a flavor of Ubuntu featuring Unity desktop environment that was the default desktop environment in Ubuntu from 2010 until 2017. The last official version of Ubuntu with Unity was Ubuntu 17.04, also known as Zesty's Appus. Back in May 2020, a boy called Rudrasauruswat stepped up and revived the project with Ubuntu Unity 20.0 for long-term support, bringing back to users the Unity desktop environment that is still very popular among many members of the Linux community. Unity is still considered the best and the most professional desktop environment GNU Linux desktops have ever had by many Linux enthusiasts and some authors. Now, the project has seen its fourth release, Ubuntu Unity 21.10, also known as Impish Injury, so we have decided to give it a shot, to see if it's ready for prime time. We have been using it for several weeks now, and this is what we've got. Stay with us! Ubuntu Unity 21.10 features Ubiquiti, a very popular Ubuntu installer. We have described the Ubiquiti installation process in several of our previous videos. This is Ubuntu Unity 21.10 right after the installation. Here we have something that made Unity so popular, a trademark Ubuntu launcher on the left-hand side of the screen. It has had the trash icon at the bottom, then some favorite apps pinned to the launcher, and finally very popular Ubuntu Dash, a utility where users can search for apps, files, folders, and so on. There's a panel at the top of the screen, with a system tray area on the right-hand side. There you can access the system settings app, then calendar, volume control, network connections, and so on. The top panel also hosts the global menu, for instance, if we start the default file manager application, you'll see that its menus are on the top panel. By the way, the default file manager app in Ubuntu Unity is Nemo, which is, as you may have known, Linux Mint's application. Ubuntu Unity provides a working desktop, so you can create folders on the desktop. Ubuntu Unity comes with LibreOffice, as the default office suite. It was version 7.2.1.2 in the second week of October, which means a newer version of the suite. We were able to save a test.docx file on the desktop. Cutting and pasting the file into a folder on the desktop was also working flawlessly. We came across a bug in Ubuntu Unity 21.10 at the beginning of our endeavor. We opened the folder we had previously created on the desktop and sent the test document to the trash bin. But, right-clicking the trash, to delete the item, simply didn't work. So, the solution was to open the trash in File Manager and choose the option Empty Trash. Ubuntu Unity's software store opens instantly and it seems to be GNOME's software application. Apps are offered in categories, with some editor's picks, recent releases, and recommended apps in the foreground. The store offered us some updates and it finished the process with no issues. Let's see how the store installs software. We'll look for GIMP, a very popular image manipulation program. It's found in the software store and is offered both as a contained Snap application and as a native app from the official repositories. All we need to do is to click the install button and enter the administrative password. The app is installed successfully and it launches very fast bearing in mind that it is a heavy, resource-demanding program. Ubuntu Unity 21.10 Impish Injury also offers Synaptic Package Manager pre-installed. It's an old, graphical way of installing and uninstalling apps in Debian-based desktops. To show you how it works, if you happen to be a new user, 
we will install some Microsoft fonts, needed for collaboration on Office documents between different operating systems. We search for ttf muscorfonts installer and then install the package. Now we'll log out and then log back into the system. Of course, you can customize the Unity launcher. To remove the items you don't find necessary, just right-click them on, and choose the option Unlock from Launcher. To add an item to the launcher, you need to open it, right-click it on the dock, and choose the option Lock to Launcher. You can also drag and drop it wherever you want on the launcher. You can repeat the process as many times as you need it. If you don't like the default desktop background, you can easily change it by right-clicking on the desktop and choosing the Change Desktop Background option. Ubuntu Unity 21.10 offers several wallpapers pre-installed. Let's try some of them. If you would like to add some of your wallpapers, you need to click the plus button or choose a different folder within the appearance app. To show you how it works, we will take a wallpaper from the internet. Let's take this one, for example. We move it from the downloads to the pictures folder, and now we choose it as our new desktop wallpaper. You can change the default desktop theme, too. Search for the Appearance app in the dash and choose one of the vintage Ubuntu desktop themes. But, later on, we couldn't find a way to restore Ubuntu's new default Yoru theme. We tried to restore the defaults by installing the GNOME Tweaks app. We were able to get back the applications and icon themes, but not the shell itself. With the help from the Ubuntu Unity team, we have restored the defaults by entering the dconf reset f command in the terminal. The issue which needs to be addressed in Ubuntu Unity is the fact that the global menu functionality doesn't work with Firefox, which is the default web browser in Ubuntu Unity. In other apps, for instance, the GIMP image manipulation program, it works perfectly. Or with the LibreOffice Writer. But, all in all, Ubuntu Unity is a full-blown operating system, functional and polished. In our test, it turns out to be as capable as mainline Ubuntu with the GNOME desktop environment. It gets out of the way and gets the job done. Some members of the Linux community claim that Ubuntu Unity has old and outdated underlying technologies with the Unity 7 desktop environment. But the work has already begun on Unity X, which is the continuation of the Unity 7 project. Additionally, the Ubuntu Unity team also works on creating an alternative to Ubuntu's proprietary Snap Store. With all of that, if all goes well, the future of the Ubuntu Unity desktop seems to be secured. We hope you've liked the video. Thank you for watching. Like it, share it, and subscribe. See you next time.